I don't want a child. I've never wanted one. I, I had a plan, and this wasn't part of it. Mr. Macrite presents 10 new Mac games, which arrived on Mac computers in January of 2017. January, oh January, what an interesting month it has been. And not just for Mac, but for every other gaming platform. January has seen a huge amount of indie games. In fact, this episode features no big budget games, only indie titles. Is that a bad thing? No, because most of the best games are small budget indie games. Another good thing is that most of these games are extremely cheap or free. Anyway, with all that, let's get started. Fire cows into the enemy. Catapult lizard peons. Build and fling your way to total tower domination. Starting at number 10, we have Kane. For those of you who are familiar with the game Stasis, well, this game returns to that universe. Kane is a free point-and-click isometric adventure game with a modern edge. You will play as a pregnant woman called Hadley, who wakes up in a facility. Players must help Hadley to answer questions and brave challenging situations to break free. To do this, you will need to solve puzzles and face menacing enemies in this free horror adventure game. Number 9 is Owlboy. Owlboy has been ported to Mac this month. This is great news as this is a highly praised game that is backed by 9 years of development. In this adventure game, you can fly and explore a world in the clouds. Players will need to complete obstacles and face dangerous enemies. It is said that this is one of the most detailed adventures of this era, and I can't disagree. Alloboy has a unique mix of flight and platforming that all can enjoy. Number 8 we have Planar Conquest. Now look, I think I have pronounced Planar incorrectly. I do apologize. Planar Conquest is a 4 times turn-based strategy game that is already out. However, it only just arrived on the Mac App Store this month. You'll use tactical, strategic and global spells to destroy your enemies, all taking place on a tactical battle board. I enjoyed playing this game because it features great customization options. You can customize characters, equipping them with weapons, you can control and improve settlements, and there are seven generated worlds that can be customized via the shape, land masses, and sea. Number seven is Paul Pixel, The Awakening. Paul Pixel The Awakening is a Mac exclusive game. You don't hear that very much. In fact, I think it is the first exclusive Mac game on Steam. In this unusual, humorous and attractive point and click adventure game, players will control Paul Pixel, who must defend the world from an alien invasion of zombies. During my playtime of this game, I couldn't stop playing. Even though the graphics and retro music might be unusual, that is what keeps you engaged for hours on end. <coughs> Number 6 we have Vector 36. Vector 36 is a racer set on the surface of Mars. You pilot a skimmer, which is a completely customizable vehicle. Since players have complete and total control over every compartment of your ship, this means you are responsible for how your skimmer performs. The game has a strong emphasis on piloting skills and engineering skills, as they make the difference between winning and losing races. When you play, you'll race through numerous tracks on Mars. Compete in modes such as sprint, circuit or tournament. Number 5 is Hive Jump. Hive Jump, a sci-fi action platformer, allows 1-4 players to blast your way through hordes of aliens in chaotic run-and-gun platforming action. 
You can play alone or with friends via local or online co-op. The goal is to kill the aliens, avoid their traps, collect treasures, and discover lost relics. The art style is very odd. However, it brings a fun and enjoyable experience. With stunning visuals and sound effects, and an intense combat experience, I found Hive Jump to be extremely hard to put down. Number 4 we have Beholder. Beholder was released last November. However, it has only just arrived on the Mac App Store this month. In Beholder, the primary task is to secretly watch your tenants and overhear on their conversations. You're doing this to find out if a tenant is violating the laws or plotting subversive activities against the state. Bug their apartments, search their belongings, and profile them for your superiors. Interact with characters, compete dozens of quests, and make difficult decisions that affect the end of the game. Beholder is a fantastic indie game. It's fun, challenging, and beautiful. I definitely recommend it. Number 3 is Siegecraft Commander. Is this a real-time or a turn-based strategy game? Well, that is just the beauty of this game, it's both. Siegecraft Commander offers a real-time strategy single-player campaign while providing both turn-based and RTS options for high-stakes multiplayer matches. Having these options brings easy-to-learn strategic elements, combined in a way that makes it a subtle yet rich tactical experience. I love the gameplay, as it just works, and the graphics look great and appear to be quite optimized. The siege for victory has only just begun. Well, that's one way to wage a war! Number 2 we have Galactic Junk League. Welcome to another free game this month. Galactic Junk League is like Robocraft, and some would go as far to say it's actually better. So, in this game you can build any type of ship imaginable and fight them in space. Whilst fighting in online battles, you'll use weapons such as advanced beam guns to makeshift torpedoes. I enjoyed playing this one. If you're into multiplayer games and even better enjoy construction games, then check this one out. And finally, number one, we have Detention. You might be saying, Mr. MacRite, why is this strange game number one? Well, I'll tell you why. This is Detention, a new side-scrolling horror game on Steam. The game has been extremely well praised, with overwhelmingly positive reviews on Steam. And it's no surprise, it's an amazing game. So, what is it actually about? I'm glad you asked. Detention is a horror game set in 1960s Taiwan under the martial law. Players must navigate the main characters in a point and click fashion to explore a high school where evil intrudes. You must hide from dangerous monsters and find items to interact within the supernatural rooms. It's a very cool game. Be sure to check it out guys, trust me. It's good. And there we have it, 10 awesome new Mac games released in January of 2017. Let me know in the comments, will you try out any of these games, or will you wait to see what comes out next month or beyond? And as always, please leave a like and subscribe for more videos about Mac games.